Every single one of us gathered here today are tired of staying quiet. We are tired of allowing a system that brought us up from birth control us. We are tired of constantly having to watch our people die and having to love the pain ourselves. And now for a fact that I am done with a system that oppresses me. We are not blind to what's happening in the world. We beg and plead for the Queensland police to stop paying us attention. And we scream and cry in agony for the Queensland Health Service to pay us attention. Yes. Their response, both of their response, kills us. diverse place you know you guys don't have it as bad as America does everyone here loves each other for the most part racism exists no matter what it's hidden sometimes it doesn't need to exist anymore okay because we are all the same we have beating hearts we, ha we have loved ones I just don't I don't feel like it's a subject that should still be like spoken on lives are lives you know what I mean people are human beings no matter what color no matter what race no matter what language they speak everything all in general and you know I just really my original brothers and sisters, they are loved. They are people of color. I didn't even know like Aborigines existed until I came to Australia. So it's like we are everywhere. You mob need to wake up because racism in this country is different. And if you don't know, now you know, nigga. Yeah! I got something to say to you, Please. all of you. Please. Since I got people of color in the audience here, I got something Please. to say to you, all of you. Please. When you come to this land, and when the white man bring you here in his indoctrination, when he bring you here and he naturalizes you and he makes you an Australian brother and he makes your children Australian and you thank him for it and he, and he tells you, you are free now. You take on his rhetoric, you're naturalized and you become an Aussie under his system. Therefore, you take on his hate for Aboriginal people. You need to change the way you look at your brother. We are here. See us. Yes. As long as black people or people of color in this country take on the rhetoric and the lies spewed out by white men, you are complicit as well in other blacks' deaths. Straight up, change the way, change the way you treat us. Maori, Tongan, Samoans, I call you all here now. Stop working for the white man as bouncers and bashing up Aboriginal men and women when they walk through your door. We're your brothers. We want allies, not foes. You should be standing with us, not against us. The white man has miseducated you and made you hate yourselves and hate us. Do not, I guess, look at the popular form of racism around the world because, because you can't see the racism that I'm talking about. Especially white people. White people are very blinded by it because you've got to remember. And, and you know, I used to hate on my white brothers and sisters before. I used, to, I used to really hate that they couldn't see it. Then I realized, hang on a minute, that's all they know. 
they believe in what they're saying as much as I believe in what I'm saying. Ah, see. You understand? Yeah. So, so when when a white person is, is, is unplugged from the matrix and told the truth by someone like yours truly, mm. they try to defend it and try and fight me for it and go, oh, but that never happened. Yeah, it didn't happen to you. Ah, but yet it's happening. But it's happening to me. So do not deny me my experience and do not deny me my truth. That's what I'm saying to you. I understand you've had a nice cushy life. That's the problem. The reason they do this in Australia is because there's, it's learned behavior, it's, it's, it's ingrained, normalized, natural racism that they wake up with and have their toast and their weekdays with it in the morning. It, it, it's been passed down for generations from their family and, and the rhetoric that they breed into each other and tell each other that abos are nothing but you know low life scum that don't work, they get everything for free and they're lazy and they're not, they're not human. Um, it's, it's a unique uh, uh, a nice spicy, uh, uh, I guess, form of racism in Australia for Aboriginal people. We bleed the same. If we went to hospital and I'm, I'm on the next bed to you and I say, what type of blood you are? Hey brother, if you're a non-Indigenous person, what type of blood are you? You, take, you can take some of mine. That's what it's all about. You don't discriminate.